Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lloyd. So we are here in week 13. We are currently 8 and 3 leading the AFC North. So hopefully we can go ahead and win a couple more games. Go ahead and clinch this division. And we'll go ahead and at least for sure should have about the third seed in the playoffs, which will definitely be great. But anyway, we're taking on the Oakland Raiders in this matchup. They are currently 2 8 and 1. Not a very good record whatsoever, so we definitely want to capitalize in this Sunday night showdown. You see Derek Carr coming onto the field first, 16 touchdowns, 9 interceptions on the season. First play from scrimmage, they're going to hand it off to DeAndre Washington. He gets brought down by Jeffrey Toler, but there's going to be a holding penalty on the Oakland Raiders. So now it's going to be first and 20, and they will end up getting all those yards right back because we're going to be called for defensive pass interference. So two penalties to start off this game, one on both sides of the football. Right here, Derek Carr is under center. The first play that is not a penalty is going to be an incomplete pass as he throws this one out of bounds. Second and 10 now, Derek Carr dropping back. He's going to find Robert Woods, who makes this reception. He's going to set up a third and two attempt. We're going to go ahead, hand it off to DeAndre Washington, and he's going to take this one up the middle for a first down. Two plays later, it is second and 12. They hand it off to Washington again our defense is all over that one now it's going to be third and 11 Derek Carr dropping back has plenty of time but he will end up checking this one down to Marcel Reese he goes nowhere and that's going to bring out the kicking team with this deep field goal and this one is going to be wide right so they get nothing on that possession we take over from the 50 yard line so our first play for scrimmage we're going to find Matt Teague who makes that reception a gain of six yards now it's going to be second and four Chris Wilbur dropping back again. He's going to find our tight end, Crockett Gilmore, who makes that reception, and he will pick up a first down on that play. Very next play now, Chris Wilbur looking to his left. He's going to find Matt Teague, who makes his second reception of the, of the ball game and of the drive, second to five. Now we're going deep looking for Matt Teague. This time it will fall incomplete, so now it is third and five. This is going to be Chris Wilbur dropping back in the shotgun formation, and he will be brought down for a sack. So we'll end up going ahead and kicking a 55-yard field goal attempt. So this kick is up, and this kick is going to be right down the middle. Just enough power behind it, and that one will be good. So 3 to nothing is the score. Here comes the Oakland Raiders fighting DeAndre Washington. He's going to get it on that drag route, and he will end up picking up a first down on that play. Two plays later, it is second and six for the Oakland Raiders. Looking for a slip screen. They're going to find DeAndre Washington, but that's going to be C.J. Mosley coming up with the hit, recovering the own fumble that he actually forced. So very good play by C.J. Mosley. We take over in good field position, but look at this. The Raiders force a fumble, and then they pick up the fumble as well. So they end up getting the ball at about the 45-yard line, but right here they're looking at a third and 14. Derek Carr feels the pressure, and Derek Carr will actually fumble the football. Luckily for the Raiders, they're able to fall back on it, but they get nothing out of that possession, so they end up punting it. We're back on offense. That is Javante McCollum taking this one to the outside, and he will pick up a first down on that play. Second and six. Chris Wilbur dropping back, and he is going to find Bashar Perriman, who makes that reception, and we are now inside of Oakland territory. So now it is second and seven. Chris Wilbur dropping back, trying to find Crocker Gilmore, but he can now hold on to this football, and that one will fall incomplete. So now it is third and seven. Still in the shotgun formation. Chris Wilbur rolling out to his right. He's going to throw this one across his body, and this football is going to fall incomplete. So, 61-yard field goal attempt from Tucker. Let's see if he can go ahead and get this one to go through. And he will have just enough power on this one as well. So, a crazy kick so far. We're up 6 to nothing. Can't get any points on the board in terms of touchdowns, but hopefully we can go ahead and turn that around on our next possession because you see Chris Wilbur, he's going to end up taking that one to the 35-yard line on that carry. Now Chris Wilbur's going to hand it off this time to Javante McCullum. He takes this one for a gain of about 8 yards. Second down now for the Baltimore Ravens. We go with a play fake. We're going to find Matt Teague who makes that reception, and that will be a first down. So about two minutes to go here in the first half. We're going to go ahead and drop him back. We're going to find Bashar Perriman, and he will be brought down at the 8-yard line. So now, second to go, 150 remaining in the half. We're going to find Javante McCollum, and he will get into the end zone for a touchdown on that nice and easy swing route. So, 13 2 nothing. That is the score, and Derek Carr is going to try to lead the Raiders down the field and get some type of points 
before halftime. So the go no huddle. It is second to four right here. Derek Carr has plenty of time, and he's going to find his tight end, Martellus Bennett, who makes that reception. He is brought down near midfield. First and ten, Derek Carr dropping back. Going to lob this one up, and this one will be caught by his receiver, who makes a man miss, and he's going to take this one down to the 21-yard line. But now the Raiders have under 50 seconds remaining in the first half. It's going to be Amari Cooper, who makes that reception. He takes that one down to the 2-yard line. Now two plays later, it is second to goal, and the Raiders will finally punch this one into the end zone for a touchdown. That is Martellus Bennett, who makes that reception, and that will actually take us to halftime. So the score is 13-2-7. We really haven't done much offensively, but hopefully we can turn that around here in the third quarter. So right away, we're going to hand it off to Javonta McCullum on our first play from scrimmage. He gets a gain of nine. Then the next play, we go right back to the ground, and this time he will pick up a first down on that carry. Now first and 10. We'll go ahead and try to get the ball to Bashar Perriman in space. He's able to make the reception, and Perriman will pick up a first down. So first and 10 yet again. Why not go ahead and take a shot deep? Looking for Matt Teague in double coverage, but Matt Teague goes up, makes a fantastic catch, you guys, but he will be ruled down at the one yard line look at this catch again i actually challenged this play the play was it will end up standing they did rule him down when his knee hit the ball was just barely out of the end zone so the very next play we have to go right back to the ground there's going to be uh, javonta mccullum excuse me getting into the end zone for a touchdown and we are going to go ahead and extend our lead so 19 to 7 is the score because we did miss the two-point conversion but on third and one right here the raiders would pick up a first down second and four the handoff to washington again he has little room to run taking that one down to midfield but the raiders will be looking at a third and 11 later on in the possession taking a shot deep and this one will be picked off by eric weddle off of the deflection he will end up taking this one down to about the 41 yard line that will give us the football we have another opportunity to extend our lease so this is javante mccullum he's going to take this one to the 48 yard line two plays later it is third and one we're going to go ahead with chris wilbur and scramble pick up an easy first down and a little bit more as he slides down at the 33 yard line second and four now chris wilbur in the shotgun formation looking to throw the football but the options are taken away immediately we find Javon said McCullum, but we're going to go ahead and overthrow him. So, third and four now, looking to pick up a first down. They're going to go ahead and drop everybody back, but it does not matter because Chris Wilbur, he's going to take off, and he will pick up another easy first down. Later on in the possession, it is second and inches, and Chris Wilbur picks up more than just the inches needed for that first down all the way down to about the two yard line then right here this is Javante McCullum punching this one into the end zone for yet another touchdown in this ball game you guys so we are leading 26 to 7 is the score now in the fourth quarter Derek Carr on offense he's going to go ahead and take this one down this football will be will be well short excuse me of the first down marker so Kings will come out. He's going to have to punt the football. And this is going to be Braxton Miller. Who's going to take this punt? And look at Braxton Miller with the nice spin move. He's taking off down the sideline. One man to beat right here, but he cannot beat him. He will be brought down at the 26. But look at this field position, you guys. We're definitely looking to capitalize and get yet another touchdown. So this is McCullum taking this one up the middle. He picks up a gain of eight yards, second and two. Now we're looking to pass the ball. This is Chris Wilbur deciding to step up in the pocket yet again. He will slide down safely, and we are inside of the 10-yard line. Second and two right here. This is Brashard Perriman, but he cannot hold on to the football. He drops it, so now it is going to be third and two. We're going to hand off to Javante McCullum, and he is punching this one into the end zone for his third rushing touchdown of the ball game. We will add an additional field goal late. But that will pretty much be it. The Raiders do not threaten the rest of the ball game. 36 to 7. That is the final score. We're going to go ahead and get our ninth victory of the year, you guys. So things are looking very good after a shaky start to the season. We have been rolling as of late. Javante McCullum, 19 carries, 101 yards, three touchdowns. Chris Wilbur, no mistakes in this ball game in terms of interceptions. He was 15 for 23, 146 yards, one touchdown. Like I said, no interceptions. Matt Teague, five receptions, 78 yards. And Brashard Perriman, four receptions for 30 yards. But that is all I have for this episode, you guys. As always, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.